and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is a continuation of our previous Bob Blast, where I started Freedom Paintings. Do you remember that? Where it was like, I'm so glad to be back in my studio. I don't have to teach for a couple of weeks. I'm free to paint anything I want to. And for me, that's abstract expressionist, and now especially large. So talk about being free. So you saw me working on three paintings, one on the floor and the two behind me. And so again, I have my paints all laid out. I'm ready to go to the next phase. Please remember that these are just snippets. I'm not gonna have an opportunity to do the entire painting. So since the last video, I've actually worked a little bit more on the ones you saw from the previous video. This was the all blue one, if you remember. Over here was all the, the mostly the red one. I'm gonna do a little bit more on the blue one right now. So I have my whole body paints. Look how large these are. Whoa, pretty exciting, huh? Pretty exciting. I also have my whole body acrylic inks. They're already in these dispensers. See, isn't that just cool? Watch this. They're like foam brushes. And I have different sizes. All right, my big brushes, a little bit of spray alcohol. Paper towels. I'm gonna go into the next phase of painting for a little bit on the blue one, mostly abstract expressionist. And so that's what I'm, I'm feeling, it's a hunch. Some people call it intuitive, I call it a hunch, almost looking at the foreseeable future. And it's gonna be spontaneous when it happens. That's what I love doing about this. So excuse me while I go paint. Mostly blue, that's the dominant color here. I have my color wheel over there. That tells me it's gonna be mostly blue. Oh, look at this blue. Woo. I love the fact that I have all this bright color, blue, and then the dark down here. It almost glows in the dark. Now to kick it up, I'm gonna add some of the violet color. More of a violet, yeah. Whoa. It's still gonna be a focal point right there. In case I miss it, I'm gonna draw. Look at this. These are these inks. They're acrylic. See, I can draw right on top. <laughs> Well, this makes no sense, but sure is fun to paint this way. As you can see that the composition is mostly about curves. Keep it asymmetrical, which means I'm gonna have a whole lot over here, over here, and simple over here. Oh. And one more down here. What a blue! This ultramarine blue it's, it just glows in the dark. It's almost like ice skating. The brush just glides all over the place. Wow, man. I'm gonna stop right now on this point and I'm gonna get ready to go over to the red one. I'll see you over at the red painting.
and now the red painting. You know, I'd call them freedom paintings. It doesn't mean free for all, just kind of blah, la di da It's all about writing down your goals. I still have. So the concept or the word for this one is circulate. And it's all gonna be based on curves, off balance. That's my composition. Blue, and a variety of, of blue for the other painting. This one's gonna be red for the variety. And also I'm going to include lines and shape and pattern. That's what I'm gonna to get to play with. I always look for that surprise. So this is a big fancy word. That'd be great for the title, right? But mostly it's all about circulation. Circulate, and that's where I'm about to go. Have my dominant colors are red. Here we go. Dominant colors red. Blue's gonna be the focal point. But for now, let's play with the dominant color. Go for a darker. Ugh. Remember, I'm going for a painting that I've never seen myself ever having done before. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I mean when I say intuitive. As you get that hunch that it's the right direction or you at least hope it's the right direction. That's why we call it hunch. It's a hunch. Getting back to the dominant color here. Let's really throw it up with some blue over here. Oh. Get those circles going again. Whoa. It was looking too ordinary. Not enough surprises. Oh, dark. Whoa. Keeping the color simple, but variations of the reds and the blues in here. I, keep, I like to keep my brushes moving all over the place. Big brushes. Wow, there's your surprise. Coming back. Well, I like to keep it moving all over the place too. That way I don't stay in one place too long. I like drawing into it while it's still wet. Surprise textures. So that's the red one. Now let's go on the, work on the floor on that six foot by six foot canvas that I have already pre-stretched out. I worked on it a little bit since the last time I saw you. I'm gonna get back in there and start adding some red. Here I go. And now for the canvas on the floor. One of the reasons I like working on a canvas on the floor is I can really throw paint all over the place and it stays there. It doesn't drip down as if I were working on an easel. And look, I can work big, long brushes, really wet. The whole concept on this one still is curves. I'm gonna start off with a lot of red line drawing. It's all about the curves. Look at that, it's all the way around. Really wet. Woo. Let some of the other colors come through too. This is a good time to use some alcohol. Look at that. Whoa, this is the rubbing alcohol. I love using it too. Kind of breaks up the surface a little bit. Boy, this is freedom. One more thing. A load of acrylics. Look at this. Oh. Do not wear your best shoes. Okay. Or use any shoes. So I'm making lots of lines 
and then also some simple areas too. I'll even use some of the paint right out of the tube. Why not? It's that kind of a pain, you know. Oh, it's coming alive now. Whoa. I like it so much, I'm adding more color. Right out of the tube. Oh, it's a nice color. And welcome back. Hey, I wanted to bring you back to the original two that I was working on, the blue one. Look, one of the things I was doing on the blue one, it was to keep it all very loose and mostly blue. That's the dominant color. I just started to put in the focal point color, which is that orange yellowish color that you see in there. It's just the beginning. Now also across the top, I've been working on adding a border or a horizon line, something like that. And on all of my paintings right now, especially getting ready for shows, so there'll be some consistency. Same here over here in the red one. Dominant color is red. There's the border on the top, again, to keep it consistent, kind of like a horizon line. And it's going to be based on curves and hopefully some surprises. There's a little bit of collage in there also. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this. And hey, happy anniversary to me, the Bob Blast 200 and number 50. Boy, I sure didn't know we were gonna do this many of them. They've been a blast. And thanks again for sharing these Bob Blasts with all your friends. And don't forget to go to robertburridge.com. You're gonna see a whole lot more stuff. And I'm so excited to be able to see you this year coming up, you have all these great workshops and uh, international workshops too. So stay tuned and I can't, make sure you read all the stuff at the bottom of this one. And I can't wait to see you on 251. Take care. Hi there, and as most of you know, I love drawing the undraped model, especially in my workshops. One of my more popular workshops, I just love because I get to draw too. And as you can see, we're doing drawings from charcoal, we do use paint, black and white paint, all the way up into colorful paintings with acrylic paint. But painting the undraped model and drawing the undraped model is a great luxury for me. And besides, it just is exciting to have the whole room everyone's drawing and painting it's an exciting workshop you know i do them here in my own studio and all over the locations all over the united states and sometimes europe too hey this is what i love to do i hope i'll see you in my next undraped model workshop Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and I'm inviting you to my next Riverboat Cruise painting workshop hosted by the Dillman's Resort. Guess where I'm going? Stay tuned. So this exciting Riverboat Cruise is next spring. Okay, so stay tuned here. And it's from Amsterdam to Belgium, going into the Netherlands. Oh my gosh, all those castles and those historic cities and history. Uh, we're gonna be relaxing and painting on location, not heavy duty painting, but light sketching, colorful pencils and things like that. Then back on our boat, small boat. No, it's a small boat, not one of these giant cruise ships. 
which I love so much. We get personal service. And we're going to be with all the masterful museums. We're talking Van Gogh, Rembrandt, Vermeer, and all those other wonderful early painters that we love so much. Now we get to go and paint in the tulip fields, the same place as they were, and all of the landscapes. We're going to be doing landscapes and florals, as you see behind me, different styles, but mostly we'll be touring castles, painting in the fields, and go where all the other famous painters have gone before us. Just think, masterpiece, and all in the Netherlands with all those great painters. So I love this boat cruise, it's small. I love it, we did it before, the same boat cruise that we went up in Paris last year. Thank you, Dillman's, you did a great job. So great, we're gonna do it again. And a lot of people are starting to sign up because it is an exciting place. I've always wanted to go there and paint. I hope you can join us. Check out the information at the end of this and I'll see you in the Netherlands.